hey guys welcome back to another tutorial today we're going to be making these wrap pants i really love how they turned out i have always wanted to make these and i've seen them mostly in fabric materials so i wanted to make them in crochet so to make these you're going to need your hip measurement and then you're going to divide that by two making sure that the number you get is an odd number okay so once you're done with that i'm going to take you through on how to make the pants if you would like to have more coverage uh, around the split in the sides you're going to make more chains like your chain has to be longer than your hip measurement please subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so yet like this video if you find it helpful and help it to reach more people. So let's head to the tutorial. I'm going to start with a slip knot. Insert my hook and chain 71 plus 3. I have made my chain of 71 here. Just make sure that your chain is an odd number plus three. Okay, so 71. Then I'm going to hold this last stitch and add three more chains. Then I'm going to yarn over, skip those three chains. Actually, you're going to count five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to make a double crochet into the next stitch okay like that chain one yarn over skip a stitch double crochet into the next chain one yarn over skip a stitch double crochet into the next and you're going to repeat that across the chain Okay, I'm now at the end of my row. There, first row is completed. Now we're going to start row two. To start row two, you're going to chain four. Every time you're starting a row, you chain four. So that's four chains, turn your work. Yarn over and you're going to make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet. chain one yarn over skip this chain space and make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet from previous row and you're going to repeat that until you get to the end of the row When you get to the end of the row you're going to chain one yarn over and make a double crochet into the third chain okay row three you're going to repeat row two chain four turn your work yarn over and make a double crochet on top of the next double crochet chain one yarn over double crochet on top of the next double crochet chain one and you're going to repeat this until you have a total of 25 rows i wanted a high waist so you may need to make less rows than main so yeah 
I made 25 rows for mine and I'll be showing you the measurements once we get there so you're going to repeat row 2 and continue with row 3 until you have a total of 25 rows or less depending on the size that you want or how or how high you want it to be so go ahead and complete that i'll be back and show you the rest all right guys i went ahead and made 25 rows for my pants this is going this can be either the front or the back panel so you're going to make two identical panels so like i said i have made 25 rows and this measures up to 13 inches long and then it's 16 inches for the width so I have 36 stitches here and I had to find the middle of my of my panel okay so I have 18 stitches here and I have 18 stitches for the other side. So if you have made it smaller, just make sure that both sides have the same number of stitches. So you're going to make a second panel and you're going to mark the middle for it as well. And then we're now going to split these so that we can create uh, the leg holes. So I'm going to work my way uh, up to this point here so that we can attach the other panel. All right, now I'm in the middle of my work. These are 18 stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a stitch here in the middle. And the, this chain one we have here in the center, we're going to chain one and place there a stitch. Okay. Okay, like that. And this is going to be um, that middle stitch. I'm going to chain 11 for this for the center of my pants so just make sure that the chain you make here is also an odd number so you can chain either 9 or 11 depending on how long you want this chain to be so I have made my chain of 11 and I'm going to get my second panel and I'm going to place it on top and this is the wrong side that's facing me. So the right sides are both facing each other. Okay. So you're going to yarn over and place a double crochet into the space that you marked. Like that. So now we have attached the two panels. Chain one. Then you're going to continue with the pattern. Chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet until you get to the end of the row. Alright, so get to the end and make a double crochet into the third chain. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn your work. And work your way back and I'll meet you back right here. So I'm back here. I'm working in this last stitch. So once you get to the chain, you're going to chain one, skip a chain, and work a double crochet into the next chain one, skip a stitch, 
a double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch a double crochet into the next repeat until you get to the other side okay skip this skip that So I'm now back to the end here. I'm going to chain one and skip this next stitch and work a double crochet on top of this one. Chain one and repeat the pattern. So this is, this is how it looks so far. So I'm going to keep working this down. Then once it's done, we get to this other side as well. So we're still keeping this straight and then we're repeating the same pattern. These pants are really easy to make. All right, chain four. Turn your work, beat the pattern. You're going to repeat that same pattern here. You're going to keep going and make as many rows as you like. I don't know how long you want your pants to be. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and, and repeat this and I still don't know how many rows I'm going to make. So stay tuned. When I return, I will tell you how many rows I ended up making. Okay, guys, I'm back and um, I completed one of the leg holds and this is how it looks. I made a total of 50 rows. You can choose to make as many rows as you like. You can actually make it shorter if you like. It would still come out nice. Okay, now I'm going to be showing you how to start the next leg hold and then I'll work off camera for the rest of the rows just like I did with this one. I worked my way up to the end and then I cut off the yarn and reattached it on this other side of the leg hole. So what you're going to do is making sure that you have the same number of stitches that you have for this other side of the leg. Supposed to turn it around. So here I'm going to chain four and then turn my work like how we have been doing and then i'm going to work mesh stitch until i get to the stitch marker so i can show you how to work around the chain that we created here this is the part that may give you a hard time so i really need your attention so let me work my way around up to the stitch marker and i'll show you what to do all right guys so i made my way back here to the stitch marker so as you can see remember here we created a stitch where we have our stitch marker and this is the stitch here so you're going to chain one and you're going to place another stitch into that same space so i've already chained one i'm going to yarn over and make another stitch into that same stitch that we created for the center so we have two stitches into the same space then you're going to chain up one and now we are going to work over to this other side once you have made that double crochet 
you're going to skip this double crochet across so when you see when you get to the chain here as you can see here we chained 11 so we must be having uh, six stitches this is one two three four five and six so what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and we're going to skip all this and place a double crochet into the chain one space that we skipped here so we yarn over and place there a double crochet like that I know this is a little bit big maybe it would also be better if we don't chain here yeah just simply yarn over and go direct into the chain one space and make a double crochet like that then chain one yarn over skip a double crochet make a double crochet in the chain one space and repeat that until you get to the other stitch marker So once you get here you're going to you're not going to chain just like we did on the other side sorry okay no chaining here you're going to yarn over and you're going to skip all this and work a double crochet into the same stitch that this one is in I hope it won't confuse you so we have this stitch here you're going to yarn over and place that a double crochet and then we'll have two double crochets in the same space then chain one and from here we continue with our pattern double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet until you get to the end of the row also you need to cross check and make sure you have the same number of stitches as you had for the other side of the leg hole remember to place a double crochet on top of the chain four to end the row so now you're going to keep working from this point to this one I forgot to mention that um, at the end of this one leg hole I have a total of 43 rows so I'm going to make sure that I have the same number of stitches for the second leg hole okay so make sure you count your stitches you always start with a chain of four then you turn your work so from here you're just going to repeat the mesh pattern guys working your way down to as many rows as you like and this is day two for me making these pants and you know I can't crochet all the time because of my baby and right now it's 12 like it's midnight already so she just fell asleep and I was like let me go and record this part before she wakes up again and here we are I hope you like the end I hope you enjoy the tutorial All right, I'm back. I went ahead and completed both leg holes. 
and another thing that I did was make a row of single crochet along the edges and I was still on it just so I can show you how I'm doing it and while making the single crochets you're going to change your hook to a four millimeter hook to a smaller hook okay so what I'm doing is make two single crochet in these spaces here in the over the the stitch like that that's two single crochets then you go direct into the next space and make two single crochets make two single crochets into the next space and repeat that until you get to the end so I did this for for the whole for both edges for the other leg hole as well. So we are going to do the same, and we're almost done with these pants, guys. Make two single crochets in each space. To single crochet, to single crochet, to single crochet, and then slip stitch into that same space like that, then cut the yarn, pull tight so. I'm not doing, I'm not making the single crochet at the bottom of my pants. I'm just making the single crochet to this longer part and around the waist. Okay? So, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a different color here, and I chose red because I already had a bralette in in yellow and red, so these pants will be matching with the top. Well, you've already seen it. So once you're done with the row of single crochet, you're going to get a different color. And then you're going to make a slip knot. Using your six millimeter hook. Yes, we're back to the six millimeter hook. And we're going to make a row of mesh here. So insert your hook. On the corner of your pants pull through and chain four one two three and four yarn over yarn over skip a stitch and double crochet into the next space chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next space chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch and repeat that until you get to the end of of, uh, of this row if you're not sure on, on where you should place your stitch just make sure that the stitches line up with this other with this other double crochet like it should come like this you see that yes it should line up like so let's continue chain one skip a stitch double crochet so you're going to do this for the other side you're going to make, finish this row and do the same thing for the other row and then I'll be back to show you guys what to do next. Um, so before I continue, I'm going to show you something that you'll need to do as well. Once you're done with your row of mesh in using the different color, you're going to get your four millimeter hook again and get the main color make a knot and we're going to make a row of single crochet 
So you're going to insert your hook into this first space. Attach your yarn. Chain two. And into that same space, you're going to make a single crochet, then single crochet on top of the double crochet single crochet in the chain one space single crochet on top of the next double crochet single crochet in the chain one space and repeat okay and you're going to do this for both sides once you're done with the red color and then i'll be back so we can add the straps so guys at this point your pants should be looking like this and the next thing we're going to do is make straps around the four corners of our pants okay so this is how they look right now i love the red around uh, the edges in the sides it really looks it looks nice going to insert my six millimeter hook here in the first stitch of the last row of single crochet then I'm going to use going to make a slip knot and attach it here chain one then you're going to chain four one two three four yarn over skip a stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next stitch and you should be and you should have four stitches the chain four here counts as a double crochet and a chain one okay so once you have your four double crochets here you're going to chain four one two three four turn your work yarn over double crochet on top of the next double crochet chain one double crochet on top of the next double crochet chain one and double crochet on top of the chain in the third chain you should have this I'm going to repeat that chain up four turn your work yarn over and double crochet on top of the next double crochet chain one double crochet on top of the next double crochet and basically that's what you're going to repeat until your strap is long enough to how you want it so I'm going to keep doing that and I will do the same on all corners until I have enough length that I went ahead and made my straps guys I made a total of 25 rows for the straps so you're going to make yours as long as you want depending on how you want to tie your pants okay so yeah at this point you can leave your pants at this if you like but if you would like to do this next step, please go ahead, okay? So I decided to attach a chain around at the bottom of my pants. Make a chain. I made a chain of 50. Then get your darning needle and 
we're going to insert it in the single crochet row make sure you insert it in the single crochet row because we don't want it to we don't want we don't want the chain to get lost or something so if you insert it in the single crochet row it's definitely going to stay there because uh, after all we're going to tie a knot there as I'll be showing you so you're going to use your darning needle to help the chain pass through the, the spaces until you get to the other side of the pants it's kind of windy here but I hope you can hear me When you get to the end, you're going to pass your darning needle in the single crochet, just like we did on the other side. Like that. So we're going to be tying the chain around going to be making a knot just leave enough space for your feet to go through and that's it I tied these knots here so that the chain uh, never gets a chance to to go through the single crochet row but i know it will stay but this is just to secure it some more so when you're wearing this you just have to tie a knot around like that and that's it you have to do the same on the other side of the leg I know I left a small space here, but I will adjust it. So, yeah, I think this is the end of the tutorial. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.